In this video on PSAT and SAT prep, we're going to discuss how to make a prediction using a line of best fit when looking at a scatter plot. In this problem, we've been given a scatter plot that details the distance from the sun of seven planetoids and their density in grams per cubic centimeter. And so what you can see here is that the line of best fit is also shown on the graph and it has a negative correlation, which means as one of the variables increases, the other one is going to decrease. And so taking a look at this question, it says an astronomer has discovered a new planetoid about 2.0 astronomical units from the sun. And so I'm going to be finding the best approximation of the density for this particular planetoid, given that its distance from the sun is 2.0 astronomical units. And so looking on that X axis where I've got distance from the sun in astronomical units, two is going to be right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the point on the line of best fit that corresponds with two on the X axis. And so now my objective is to figure out what the Y value is because that is going to tell me the density. And so if you are just to guess or approximate what the Y value is for that particular point, notice that it is just below four and it's higher than the line below it, obviously. But the question is, what does the line below that point represent on the Y axis? What number does it represent? Well, if you take a look at the Y axis, you can notice that every two tick marks is 0.5. And so if every two tick marks is 0.5, that means that every one tick mark is going to be half of 0.5 or 0.25. And so what that means, all of that is to say that the line in between 3.5 and 4 is represented by 3.75. And so let's write that in here just so that we can uh, see it right here, 3.75. That's going to be that line. And so I know that my answer is going to have to be somewhere between 3.75 and 4. And so a good answer might be 3.8 or 3.9. Since we don't have answer choices here, I'm just going to write 3.9 grams per cubic centimeter. And so, like I said, if I had answer choices, you would be looking for the answer choice closest to 3.8 or 3.9, but you know that it would have to be something in between 3.75 and 4. And so with that knowledge, now go back and see if you can answer the question on your Google form.